Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good morning. And check me out. Sorry for the little bit of delay today, but this is why I've got... I mean, obviously, I, you can't check out the green screen because you can't see it. And that's super cool. It's super cool that I'm down here playing with Blender over here. I'm playing with Blender over here, and there is nothing between me and Blender. If you need to see the menu there, I'll just scoot to the side. There you go. You guys can see the menu. That's pretty cool. I, I like it. I'm pretty excited by this. I'm starting to feel like a real streamer. I found some, basically what happened, I found some green fabric at Joanne's that was good enough. Now, it's, it's right on the edge. If I turn up the similarity too much, it starts to pick up my skin tone. And I, I think that's because my skin's a little bit green already. If you ever see me in real life, you might realize, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a green-skinned alien. I don't know what the deal is, but I, I am. I'm very green. Uh, and it's not easy being green, but that's all right. And I wanted to show you the model from last week that we that we started last week. Oh, oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, we're going to do this one on battery. Okay, well, that's a good thing to know. I changed uh, power adapters while you guys weren't watching me. And the new power adapter apparently doesn't have the Wavos to broadcast while we're live. I'm not broadcasting at my home, at my normal studio right now. I'm actually broadcasting from the library because my home internet is not good, and I need to work on it a little bit. Since I, I've got the equipment for it, but I haven't worked on it. So next week, soon enough, I will be a real streamer and I will be streaming, you know, twice and three times a week as we as we explore modeling and electronics on this channel. So that will be exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So we are live now. We're good to go. And just making sure everything's good on our settings. I wanted to show you the, the sheep. I finished it, but I took kind of a detour while I was working on it, okay? While I was working on it, I came up with two different forms. Let's let's pull this up. So here's all the shapes that we made and put in there. I added a tail. But I wanted to I wanted to like cheat with the with the fluff on it. And so I created like a shrink wrap Love. Kind of the same as I did the eyes, but I did it all over and I did it different thicknesses. And after doing all this and looking at it, I realized this is crap. This isn't what I wanted to do. It does not look very good with this, this strange shrink wrap fluff on it. So I got rid of that and I just went back to what I was doing before, which is... Uh, I basically took a bunch of Ico spheres that were all flattened, and I had to rotate and move and place them on the body. There was no easy way to get Blender. There might be, but I couldn't find one. An easy way to get Blender to say, yes, all of these Ico spheres, I want them to wrap around it. I just had to move and rotate and move and tilt and rotate and tilt forward and backward until I, I got it the way that I want. I basically had to manually control the normals, if you, if you know what that means. And if you don't, that's all right. As soon as I get this whole rig set up, I'm going to be doing some Blender tutorials for you all. So I'm looking forward to that. That'll be on YouTube, on 3D Printing Professor on YouTube. But I think the final result of this of this uh, model is, is the best right here. I think that that was the right choice to, to manually model the fluff. Now, I'm still going to have to print this. I haven't put this on the printer. I might decide that maybe I pushed the ears a little bit too much. In fact, I'm looking at it now, and I'm thinking maybe I need to work on that. But I will work on that another time, because today we need to work on... Oh, you know what? Uh, let me go fourth wall here so that I can... Hey, guys. Let me go fourth wall here. I need a good, a good background on my, on my fourth wall here. But I need to look at the Chibi Mall... Uh, page again. Let's take a look at this. There we go. Now you guys can see all the chibi malls <laughs> that I have that I have planned. And we are working on the farm, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check off the sheep. And I guess today we're working on a goat. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll work on a goat duck. You know, th I think I'm gonna work on the duck first. I think I want to have a duck in 
my in my achievement malls today, so I think I will work on a achievement mall stuck. Um, but I want to know as we're as we're working on this, guys, what do you want to do next? Uh, not not as far as these animals. I think we're I think we're going to do these animals, but. Where are we going next? Where is the story of Chibi Malls going to go? So let me give you uh, the view of it right now. Right now, we are going to start in the farm, and they're going to be doing Halloween in the farm. So when I release the farm pack, it's going to be it's going to be the barn. It's going to be the tractor, and it's going to be these animals and the Halloween accessories pack that you can use to accessorize your Chibi Malls. That's going to be the farm pack. Then, um, something's going to happen at the farm. Uh, the pig is, is probably going to find something that's going to send him on a great quest, and he's going to have to go find some help from somebody. And so, my question to you is, where is that quest going to send him? We could Send him to the forest where he'll meet the bear and the box, uh, fox and the bees and the hedgehog, which he's already modeled. And we're going to throw in there the raccoon, the deer, the skunk, maybe something else. Uh, we'll see. And there will be a games accessory pack with that one. We could go to the river where the otter and owl and squirrel already live. And we'll also meet some other friends there. There will be a different accessory pack there. We can go to the mountain and meet some whole new friends, the, the ram, the falcon, the eagle. Um, we could go to the savanna and meet the giraffe, elephant, cheetah, rhino, and other animals. We could go to the jungle where the sloth lives. We could go to the Arctic, the cold. Keep in mind that penguins, you know, that I'm mixing up my, my north and my south pole, but this is the world of Chibimol, not the world of uh, that we're living in. And so we could go to the Arctic next. We could go to the cold next. We could go to the desert next, where Armadillo lives and all of his friends. We could go to the swamp, to the ocean. There's plenty happening in the ocean. I'm almost, I'm worried about the ocean because I have so many animals that I want to add to the ocean. I don't know. It's going to, I think we're going to have to do the ocean in two parts. We're going to visit the ocean once, and then we're going to have a reason to visit the ocean again. And you guys can help me decide which animals I'll model each. I want this, when I get this up and running, and obviously things are a bit janky right now, but when I get this up and running, I want to see your suggestions as to what you want to see in the world of Chief Mall. So where are we going next? I think I'm getting rid of the city. Uh, I might I might take the city animals and just put them adjacent to the farm or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take all these animals and put them in the farm. I haven't decided. Uh, Asia has got some good possibilities, I think, with it. Australia definitely has some good possibilities. Uh, I worked very hard to put the koala in the Chibi Malls Kickstarter because I wanted Australia to be a part of this. Um, bugs, we're not going to worry about bugs. We're going to fold them into the other ones, microscopic ones. I think it would be adorable to have a Chibi Mall bacteriophage. Uh, if you don't know what a bacteriophage is, Go look it up. It's fascinating. It's it's weird, and I think it would be adorable to be a Chibi Mall. I'm not quite sure how that would print, but it would have to be like a half size Chibi Mall or something. I don't know. Uh, we've also got the Mystical Realm, but we're going to save that for the end. I think that that's going to be the the uh, end point of this quest. So there's there's the possibilities: farm, forest, river, mountain, savanna, jungle, Arctic, desert. I should probably just combine the no, uh, Savannah and the Desert. I mean, this is the world of cheap malls, but they are separate. I'll think about it. Uh, swamp. I don't know. Maybe I'll combine the swamp and the and the river. Ocean, Asia, Australia. What do you guys think? Where should this quest take us next? And if you guys have any idea for what that quest could be, I'm all ears. I, I want you guys to help me write the world of Cuban Mall. But remember, it's not going to be any sort of like world's ending quest. It's going to be a quest of friendship and fun and happiness because that's what the world of Cuban Mall is all about. All right, enough enough silly chitter chat. I think it's time to jump in and uh, I'm going to switch my, my camera real fast again.
need to get a better background here, but I will remember that. Um, and I'm just checking, I'm checking a couple of things. First of all, I'm checking to see, because my chat here, uh, that I'm looking at right here, doesn't have anybody on it, and there's two possibilities for that. One possibility is that my chat is broken. The other possibility is that there is nobody in the chat. Now, I'm not going to discount the possibility that there's nobody in chat, but I want to believe, <laughs> I want to believe that it's simply because It's broken, so yeah. we're going to whoop, shush you. Okay, that's encouraging. How do I pop this out? All right, that's encouraging. I need to pop out the chat on my side. I need to figure out what I'm doing with this chat. that down and go back to Blender and then bring it back over here. Oop, wrong one. Wrong one. There we go. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. Hey, I'm in chat now. Great. I thought that I had sent a chat to that, but it didn't work. So we'll have to figure this out. OBS has a, has a chat function. And uh, apparently it doesn't work the way I expected. Okay, we're going to start with a duck. And I think for the duck, we're going to stand it up. And of course, the first thing a duck needs, even a cheap and mall duck, is we got to work on a piece. So let's just start. Let's just jump in. I've got, a, I've got an idea in my head of how I want the cheap and mall duck to look. So let's just... Oh, you know what I forgot? I always forget this, guys. I forget to turn on key press for you so that you guys can see what I'm doing with my keyboard without me having to show you my keyboard, which is, I think we need to, I think we need to do that. Did I? There we go. All right, now, now my duck beak is uh, we're going to let the modifiers do the hard work for us. So, let's, uh, I'm going to really quickly rearrange my windows over here. There we go. Very interesting. Very interesting. Does Twitch chat not keep a history? I'm learning so much today. Oops. <laughs> what happened to my screen here? I accidentally clicked on something and it messed me up. All right. Let's start on our duck beak. We're going to do this with just some simple, simple vertex modeling. All right, let's turn on, let's start turning on some modifiers. We need to mirror this in the end. We need a subdivision surface. There we go. There's our duck beak shape. Uh, at least that's the beginning of something to work with. Oops, that was a mistake. I didn't, I didn't constrain it to the Z. Does that look like a duck beak? <laughs> it looks almost nothing like a duck beak. That's all right. We'll get it. We'll get it in the end. I don't like that. Let's try this. All right. It's looking good. It's looking better. That's making me happy. <laughs> and that's always the goal, to make you happy. I should probably I don't want to do it I want this to be like I want this to be my duck but at the same time I want it to look proper so I 
think yeah I think I want to look up duck feet just to give me an idea give me a little light oh she grabbed too much all right I'm gonna I'm going to against my better judgment I'm gonna pull up some duck prep because I know what a duck looks like <laughs> No, what what are you doing here? I said duck. Don't don't autofill. Don't don't assume that I want to look at something. See, like the rubber duck has a beak of a certain shape, but a real duck has a beak of a different shape. And of course, we're going to go a little bit more rubber duck with the cheap mall duck. Uh, but at the same time, I want to be I want to be sure. All right. I think I think the lesson that I just learned though is that the duck bill goes up. What's happening here? Hmm. Edit it. I think I'm going to help Blender out just a little bit here, and I'm going to use this knife tool to uh, just let me define. What did I do? Scale Z, zero. Flatten those out in the Z. And put them down here. Now I am going to put a lower bill on him. But, oh, I, I, I almost want to add a little bit more shape to it. I think, I think I want to force it to be just like that. And if it's cute. It's a winner, and I think that that's cute. So that's a winner. I like the idea of, like, the top of the bill almost being bowl-like. If if you look at a real duck, let's go back and take a look at the real duck. Uh, the top of the bill is is flat and then curves around, but I'm kind of pushing that curve up just a little bit to give it a bit more of a of a uh, bill shape. But maybe maybe I pushed it too far. With tubing walls, I always like to push things too far and then back off just a little bit. I, I think that that's, if you watch my video about what is chibi, I think that that's kind of the idea of the chibi aesthetic. If you push it too far and then, and then back off just a little bit. Uh, you push it too far and it becomes grotesque, but then you back off just a little bit. Yeah, you'd be right there. That was too far. That's too far right there. If I can play with this just a little bit. Oh, I think I want to take this and just by the edge. So have the have the front tip up, but then the edge kind of flatten out. We can make these nice, dynamic, organic shapes in Blender. It's it's a lot of fun to do this. All you really need is the subdivision surface modifier and the mirror modifier if you want to save yourself some time. All right, I think we got a winner here. I'm a little bit concerned. Maybe I need to... There was a little bit of, of up and down with the bill. Let's go take a look at the duck bill one more time. Yeah, it doesn't It doesn't like peak in the middle or anything like that. It's, it's pretty much... Well, it does just a little bit. There's a little bit of a... Let's narrow down our search here. Yes, latex ducks are what I want. I want to look at the real thing. See, you take a look. They've got... Oh, what's happening here? I don't take any pin shape. I just wanted a closer look. Ah. There it is. See, they've got that little tip on there. But do I want to... Do I want to explore that? Or do I just want to... I think that tip is probably something there so that the duck can, like, grab hold of things. Uh, but then when everybody makes fake ones, they ignore that. Am I going to ignore that? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, what we need is that high, that low. See, the problem is I'm spreading it out. I'm not doing it. It's just a focused little, little tip on there. So maybe I just need 
just need to move that out and call it good. Let's call that good. That's good for our. Now, do I want it to be wider? No, in reality, duck bills are actually not wider. I should probably, because this is chibi, I should be real small with the beak. I should shrink the beak down, actually. Maybe make it a bit taller. Be chibi, but I should probably narrow the, the beak down. Be more chibi with it. What do you guys think? Is it, is it wider? Should it be thinner? That's all right. We got plenty of time to play with it. Let's let's add the lower beak. Where is that? There it is. This one's not going to be real complex. In fact, hmm. Now that I'm thinking about it, I probably shouldn't even put a lower beak in it. But if I do, I should be real, real simple with it. It should just be like that. That's all the lower beak that a chibi mall duck gets. Uh, chibi malls are always forced simplicity. And, and with forced simplicity, I maybe made this beak a little bit too complex even, but that's all right. We're gonna, we're gonna go with it. Could I simplify this beak further? I always think if I'm knitting this, if I were making this out of out of some knit material, what would I do? And uh, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to think about it. Just doing some object management real fast. Making sure everything shows up. Where's my eyes now? All right. There's my chibi mall duck eyes. And you might say, well, that doesn't look like an eye. That looks like a cube. Well, patience, patience. Watch this. What do we always say here? What do we always do here? Let the modifier do the work for you. So first thing we want to do is mirror it across the X around the empty object. That gives us two eyes no matter where we move them. I like that part. That part makes me happy. I, uh, what makes me happy about that? that I'm doing the movement uh, in object mode, not in edit mode, but because I set the mirror object as being a separate object, it doesn't matter the center point of the object, it just moves around. I, I didn't used to do it that way, and then I discovered that I could do it that way, and it made me happy. So we're going to do it that way. Uh, do I want to solidify? No. Uh, first thing I want to do is shrink wrap. Shrink wrap it onto the duck body. We'll just call it a body. Uh, oops, can I find my eyes again? There they are. Now I'll solidify. I'll make them a millimeter thick based on the zero. Let's see what happens after we subdivision. That is adorable, but I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Settle it in there. See, grotesque. Okay, push it just a little bit and then come back. I almost feel like for the baby duck, I need to put some hair on the top, you know, something a little, little cute like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still deciding. Plenty of time to work with it. Let's let's make some duck feet. Do I want to import the, the feet that I well let's duck feet are webbed. So that is that is weird. Let's see if there's anything else about duck feet that I'm not considering. Yeah, they're webbed. We want chibi mall duck feet. You know, I wonder if I could get away. I wonder if I could get away with just making them be like this. Mirror, 
mirror, mirror on the mod. <laughs> Save me work. All right. Uh, subdivision surface modifier. I have to think sometimes, you know. <sighs> like. Would you guys let me get away with that? I almost feel like for the duck, I almost don't need anything else, but I'm, I'm going to put one out there, of course. I'm not going to leave it just like that. One thing I need to do, I think, is I need to modify the base body here. Oh, is that all we got? Interesting. Well, I need to add another layer here. Shrink that down. Ooh, I don't know how much I like this. I might have to undo this whole thing. Might have been a mistake. <laughs> but that's alright. We don't find that out until we until we start playing with it. Yeah, let's let's just not do that whole thing. That was not good. Oops, there we go. Uh you know what I should do though before I start messing things up is I should throw out I should save this right now. I need to go back and redo some of the other ones. Hmm. Okay, well, now that I've decided I'm not doing that, how do I want to do the duck tail? Ooh. Sorry, that was too quiet. I said, how am I going to do the duck tail? A oh, woohoo. Okay, now we got that joke out. <laughs> that is, that is awful. That's not the way to solve this problem. All right. The more I look at those feet, the more I'm not happy with them. So I'm going to go ahead and do some modifying on them. Maybe, maybe I can still keep it simple. I don't know. I want, I want to just do, I want to just go hog wild on feet. I want to make, you know, them all duck feet that are just all sorts of detailed, but I'm going to refrain from that. We're going to go for that. We're going to go with that for now. It's, it's going to cut it off there. Oh, that is so difficult. Sometimes the hardest part of Chiba Malt is not adding the details that you want to. Here, let me show you the details that I want to add. See what you think of it. just like that. Maybe just something simple like that. Maybe that's not so bad. There we go. And we got, we're, we're of course going to modify the bottom of them because ducks do have flat feet. You know why ducks have flat feet. To, to uh, stomp out forest fires. Of course, you know why elephants have flat feet too, right? Stomp out burning ducks. <laughs> All right, I need to put some wings on here. I need them to be simple wings. I feel like, you know, I feel like I can just peel the wings off of the penguin and change their direction, so I'm going to do that. Uh, it's not linked, it's a pen. I need to navigate to where the penguin is. And grab his wings. And then, oh, 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 my goodness. Do I not? Do I do the mirror object around? Well, let's do that right now. That way. But penguins are straight down. Duck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move him there. I'm I'm just recentering the uh, <laughs> object object origin. 
I'm going to need to remember these things because I'm gonna, I want to do some tutorials. And I can't do tutorials if I'm um, loving up what they're called. Nobody's going to call me the professor anymore if I don't if I don't get my tutorials right. If I don't do tutorials. I need to do tutorials and I need to get them right. <sighs> Again, I'm fighting that urge. I want to add more details. I want to have, you know, a more detailed wing, but. I think for the duck, I'm going to satisfy that urge by, by adding some fluff in the hair. And we're going to call that good. Okay, let's look at the duck tail. Woohoo, for a second. All right. There's that little duck butt. Little duck butt right there. Uh, well, uh, all right. Why am I why am I seeing a bunch of Porsche when I look up duck tails? Uh, apparently that's what they call the back of the back of the Porsche. Well, I never knew that. All right, here's the question. Can I just wrap that bevel in? Wait, what happened? Okay. That, that, it's working. Kind of. I think what I need to do is, oh my goodness, that's so wide. Dissolve that edge. Oops, not delete that edge. Dissolve that edge. Dissolve edge. Dissolve edge. And use the knife tool to put a new edge in the middle of there. Then, Creating a problem here, right here. It's, it's doing some weird folding here, so I think I have to add a little bit of vertice for my own sanity. And I think I, I think I messed that up. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that right there. I'm go to wireframe mode. Okay, for a, for a second the duck is a mess. I will fix it. I promise. I will fix our duck right now. Here's the problem. When I made this one, I didn't put those points close enough together. So. There we go. Oh, I'm still not convinced. <laughs> uh, I still think it needs some work. Getting a weird kind of sideways working going on right there. What's happening there? Well, what's happening there is from there to there, it's doing something weird. So I got a solution there. We'll just control this part. Ah, oh, did that wrong again. I'll have to fix that. I missed. That's all right. I know how to fix it. This little merge. Oh well, let's keep let's keep trying. We're not we're not done yet. Okay, now I can make that as small as I want without consequence. That's good. <sighs> that looks partially okay. I'm I'm not entirely opposed to that, but here's what I might do. might dissolve these vertices now. Or 
for these edges here. And that might be, whoa, what happened to this? That's supposed to be centered. Must have moved that around in a weird way. That's all right. We can always correct it. All right. I think I need. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh, that one's weird too. That's all right. We can fix that too. That's pretty good. That's pretty much what I was going for. Where's my, where's my duck tail? There we go. Forgot to give that last duck tail a woohoo. Let's try that again. Where's my duck tail? Woohoo. All right. Why are you giving me a hard time all day? I think what happened was, oh, I, I know what's happening. I'm sitting down. I, I'm ignoring that. I, I can't even see it. In my, you know, I'm looking at it and I'm not seeing it. But unfortunately, the computer sees it. It knows it's there. It's not going to let me get away with ignoring it. Just a little bit smaller than the front. What do you guys think? I think the duct's coming together. I think it looks pretty good. I think I need to work on the wings just a little bit now that I mess with the body. Actually, maybe I should just make the top half of this body just just make all of this a little bit bigger. That's maybe the solution. Ah, uh, but it doesn't look enough like a duck, does it? It looks like a chick. It looks like a baby chick. Uh, hopefully the feet will communicate that, but maybe I need to work with the feet a little bit more. This is always the hard part. At what point? I wonder. I wonder if I were to... Dare I do it? All right, let's dissolve the edges. Dissolve the edges. And let's use the knife tool. Find some line here. And a line, an edge here. Uh, the problem is that's almost exactly upside down of what I want. Oops, <laughs> let's try it again. All these guys, flatten them out. And these guys go down. Hmm. I feel like I'm working against myself. Not sure I'm managing to create the shape that I want. Uh, I'm not sure what I could do here to make this look more duck like. But I don't think this is it. I don't think this is working. And I didn't save. In fact, I. Should have saved a little while ago. Alrighty. Maybe sometimes you just gotta say, I ain't getting what I want this way. All right. You know, there's a, there's no wrong answer when it comes.
comes to how to model things, especially in Blender. There's so many ways to do it that don't let anybody tell you you 